The victory is back with my second PSA sub reveal of the week. I hope everyone is safe and surviving the icy snowy conditions. Uh, Oregon got hit pretty hard and it's finally getting over. I even walked a couple miles to the post office on Tuesday just to get my eBay packages out and everything. I'll tell my kids about it one day. Uh, but today we got a 15 card 1980s, 1990s. That Christmas monthly special they had going on, $15.99 per card. Turnaround time was amazing, just around 25 total days. Uh, I've noticed my New Year $15 special orders are moving amazingly fast. Uh, three are already in assembly. And that brings me to a quick, fun PSA observation. There is a status within the assembly status but you can only see it on your actual computer, not on the app using your phone. So go on your desktop, PC, whatever, and go to your orders page and check your orders that are in assembly. If there is a blue or green check mark, then that means they finished up assembly and your grades should pop real soon. I'm talking within the next few days. Uh, if it's a blue kind of time hour hand, then that means it's still going through assembly and not ready to pop as soon. Uh, you know, if you're like me, part of the fun of grading is checking your order status uh, on PSA like 10 or 20 times a day. It's like checking your stocks each morning to see how they are performing. It's, it's all part of the fun. Uh, but let's go ahead and get started with this quick 15 card reveal overall the cards were pretty accurately graded but they didn't do me any favors so kind of one of those orders but i got a couple important crack outs in this one and that clean shaquille o'neal slam cam insert you saw in my last card show pickup video all right let's see what they got <laughs> All right, here we go. I have not, I've seen the grades, obviously, but I have not seen the actual cards out of this package. All right. First card up, looks like it is a cool Tory Holt. This was the clear shots, the refractor version die cut. Uh, Pre-grade was a nine on this. Uh, the back had a few... Back two corners has had a little bit of a ding to them and a few surface lines. But cool looking card, and I'm happy with a nine to start it off. Next up is a very condition sensitive card. These 1984 tops with the black borders and corners just get hammered, even fresh out of the pack. They come in eights if you're lucky. So uh, this warm moon looked clean, pretty centered. You're going to see that normal kind of white. Uh, on the corners, but that's okay. Um, very common for this year. So I'm happy with an eight. Pretty good was an eight. Next up was a crack out. This was a PSA nine crack out I've had in my collection for a while. I've always thought this card was a 10 um, and is probably on its second or third round being cracked out and graded with me. Um, I'm still convinced that it is a 10, You've, but, you know, three nines in a row, it proves it's a very solid nine copy. There you go. The Emmett Supplemental. I'm happy with this grade. Uh, as you can see, it's off-centered. I had about six of these Mattingly's, and I assume they'd all would get eights. Um, but this is a pleasant surprise, getting a mint nine. It was sharp other than that centering, so must have been within... <clears throat> mint nine next up um you'll see me grading these sean marion's i think i don't think he'll get in the hall this year but i think he'll get in the hall eventually um uh, sean marion tops chrome rookie if he does get in the hall then this is the card that'll be on the psa set registry for people building the hall of fame rookie sets so it's an important one you got a mint nine uh period was a 10 on these, okay, there's one more coming up right now. And the next one, good, I did get the 10. It's it's hard to gem these cards. Um, I think I've graded three or four recently, and this is the only one that got 10. Gem 10 for the Marion. Okay, here's that here's that slam cam. Um, when I bought it at the card show, I was so excited. 
to see such a nice raw copy. It looked like a uh, Mint 9 to me. Um, but when I shared the video, everyone kept saying there was a crease on the back top edge. I think the grade, even though it's a 7, kind of proves that it's not a crease. It's kind of normal to the card. But what I did overlook was these little dots right here. The little kind of splatter. You see all those? They are not supposed to be there. Um, I think I was so excited about the, the corners and edges and how sharp it looked that I overlooked kind of a, a factory surface flaw that is not normal for the set. So that is what brought me down to the 7. I'll show you the PSA scan so you can really see it, the difference. And then I'll show you a good one so you can tell. <laughs> um, still a cool card. Um, I'm happy that it's slabbed up and it's it's really nice looking. There you go, got a 7. Uh, Chauncey Billups, pretty good was a 9. Um, I think he will get in the Hall of Fame. This card will, I think it'll get up to around 30, 35 bucks in a mint 9. Uh, I see the greening. It's not going to get me higher than a 9. There's a ton of greening on this Billups card all the time. So, mint 9. There you go. Same with this card. There's usually a ton of greening on these 96 chromes. Um, this shack looked great. Uh, look at the centering. It's pretty close to being 50-50 and no greening. So I'm very happy with that. Got a mint 9. Pretty good was a 9 with a whole full 10 on that one. So I'm okay taking the 9. Next up, uh, uh, Ryan Leaf. You're probably thinking, why the heck is he grading a Ryan Leaf card? Uh, oh, I've had two of these. And they... <laughs> I probably had them for 10 years. And I just had it. I got them in an old collection probably for like a buck. And they looked so sharp. And I've always wanted to grade them. And I looked up the comps. And actually, they're selling for around 75 each in 10s. So I was very confident it would get a 10. And it got the 10. Um, I think his stuff still has some notoriety. You know, he was a kind of first-round bust. And he had a lot of trouble with... I think he went to jail and all that stuff. So he's kind of infamous. So there is some value to Ryan Leaf. He might even have some documentaries coming out or already does. So I got Gem 10. Next up is another card I've had in my collection in a while. It's probably on its third crack out. I'm convinced this one is a 10. Uh, it's worth a gamble for me because... The price discrepancy, the difference between a 10 and a 9 is astronomical. So it's still worth it for me to keep cracking it out. Uh, look at it. It's so nice. Maybe a little thinner on the right than the left. But wow, it's an absolute stunner, this card. So pretty good was a hopeful 10, but it got the 9. I picked this up at the card show too. This Jack Kemp. Action pack is hard to grade, so you never know. I'm okay with a 9. Pretty good was a 9, hopeful 10. I didn't see much wrong with it. This was kind of a short print, 24 karat gold, Jack Kemp. Got him at nine. Another long time crack out I've had in my collection. I'm convinced this Barry Sanders is a 10. I think it's on its second round. Uh, look at the corners, look at the centering. It is so sharp. It's so clean. I, I don't know what they keep seeing on this card. Um, but I'm going to keep saving it and cracking it down the road. Mint 9 on the Barry Sanders score. Here's Barry Sanders tops traded. Um, the pre-grade was a hopeful 10, but it got the mint 9. Centering, probably not perfect. Maybe a little thicker on the top than the bottom. But solid 9 grade. Still sells okay. And finally, we're going to end... On a die cut, 95 SB Championship Terrell Davis rookie card. These ones are always condition sensitive and they have always have the pinching on the bottom corners and they always have some, maybe some die cut little edge ripple. This one looks sharp. Uh, pre grade was a hopeful 10, but it got the 9. I'm okay with that. Could be worse. So there you go. That's a quick little order. Like I said, they didn't do me any favors, but I'd say overall solid grades for these older condition-sensitive cards. Only two tens, and one was the Ryan Leaf. I wish they would have chosen a different one. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I should have a, a lot of reveals coming up because I did a ton of orders for that New Year's special, So, and they're already popping. All right, thanks for watching.